Check it out, everybody. We're here at the Villaggio in Miramar, Florida, where we just had a great, great, great discussion with some amazing people talking about entrepreneurship, why it's important uh, to become an entrepreneur in 2017 and beyond. But um, we had a great time with people. They already left and we're just discussing, talking some, um, I guess, important financial advice that we had for some of these people. Some of, some of these people actually gave us advice today, which was pretty yeah, absolutely. cool. Absolutely. So this is my friend Ismael. I'm gonna call, I told him I was going to call him Ismael for the rest of the day, so <laughs> he's still Ismael. And he is AKA the credit wizard. Uh, why do they call you the credit wizard? Because I'm a wizard and I know credit. You have a magic wand, credit wand or something? Yeah, just a magic wand. Gotcha. No, it's simply because 43 million Americans have less than a, a, a perfect credit score. So it's important for me to be able to help uh, every single person that I know that's out there that's struggling with credit. Um, you don't get to become a credit wizard without having a back end knowledge of how this whole system works. So having somebody that you can trust that knows the system and that's not going to manipulate anybody else is, is very important. So that's why they call me credit wizard. So did, did you have bad credit before you came into this business, you had an epiphany where now you're on a crusade to help other people? Absolutely. In 2014, my wife and I were looking to try to purchase a home. You know, a lot of times you don't think about credit until you actually have to use it. Mm. So we realized, okay, we actually have to use it this time around. We're trying to buy a house. And when we checked our credit score, we were looking at a 500 credit score, man. Like we could have rent toothpaste. Seriously, I had a repossession. She had a repossession as well. We had some past through medical bills, like 10 out of 13 medical bills. Um, and at that point, we realized, you know, there's, there's something we have to do. You know, sometimes you get to a point in life where you're like, I have to take a necessary step or action, but I just don't know what to do. I don't have a clear itemized plan. And speaking with some folks, I got involved with in the credit industry and um, got involved with a company called Financial Education Services and restored our credit. I mean, in July 2015, we enrolled for the company, and by the time we hit November that same year, both of our repossessions were deleted. 10 out of 13 of our past two medical bills. I mean, we went from a 500 to about like a 650 in just a four month time span, and now we're over a 700. And, and we realized, I mean, there's so many other people that we can help. It's one thing for you to have that knowledge for yourself, but you gotta help somebody else out. So we jumped into the business ourselves, and since then, our business has skyrocketed. We've I've been able to help tons of individuals and families. Nice. And uh, going out into the communities and being able to educate people about the importance of financial success and independence and of course, the importance of credit. Yeah. So would you say that having a good credit score is good is a great part of a solid financial portfolio? That's the first part. That's the foundation of everything else, mm -hmm. right? Because everything evolves around credit, right? You're talking about your insurance rates, your your um, you, you can pay high interest rates or premiums or anything that you do evolves around credit. Two things are true here in this country. Number one, you need good credit. And number two, you know if you have it. So it's important to make sure that you have credit as that foundation. And then from there, you can build upon other things that you might need. So you said, I know that with FES that, that you're a part of, they're really big on contributing to the children, to the, to the kids of tomorrow. Right. Right. So with that being said, how important do you think it is to prepare people for the upcoming, you know, turbulence coming in tomorrow's uh, our economic wave that we're about to hit? How important is it for people to plan or have good credit, not just for today's purposes, Correct. but to educate our youth and, our, and the people for tomorrow? Correct. Life is all about performance, right? So I always like to think of the five P's and you guys can think about it as well and it's put in different places, but the five P's are prior planning prevents poor performance. So if we want to prepare for what's to come, it starts now, it starts today. Some of us are in a position where we feel like, well, I don't have enough to prepare. I don't have enough money for me to be able to save. I don't have enough money for me to start, you know, getting my credit together. Mm -hmm. You know, taking those little steps here now and being able to, to partner up obviously with folks that like us that have the knowledge to be able to show you what to do and to give you a clear itemized plan is the first step. You gotta take that first step. If you don't take that first step, you're gonna be stuck right where you are and when the economy comes around and tanks again, then we're gonna write, we're going right back into the same type of conversation. So it's important to make sure that you have a, a clear itemized plan. But without a plan, you plan to fail. It's important for you to make sure you have a clear itemized plan. And they say you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, yep. right? Yep. Um, the other part of it is uh, identity theft protection. It hits close to home. Right. Um, I know you had an experience too. Yeah. So you can protect your credit, you can protect uh, anything you want, your credit cards. They got devices now, people can walk up next to you and just like skim your, your, your credit yeah. card right from yeah. your pocket. I mean, we all think it's important to protect our identity, but do we really take measures to protect our identity and what services 
uh, do you think you can or do you offer to help people, you know, with well, that situation? Well, to start off, it starts with you, right? So I, I can never offer something that some, something to somebody that I haven't experienced myself. Back in 2009, unfortunately, I was a victim of identity theft. Uh, someone utilized my social and they went and filed taxes with it. So you can imagine you spend your whole years working mm. and you're like, I'm ready for that income tax check to come. Like a lot of us folks that are out there planning with that income tax before you even get it, which is not a good idea. Uh, but nevertheless, I was in that situation and someone took my social, they applied for uh, income tax and I never received the tax refund that I needed to get that particular year. Mm. In fact, every year after that, up until now, every time I file my taxes, the IRS has to send me an IP PIN number in order for me to file. So it comes from a personal place, a personal experience of someone ripping that away from you. you. You never know how you feel until it actually happens to you and you're like, wow, I didn't realize how vulnerable I am to that. Imagine just being on a website, you plugging in your information, your name, your address, your social. Some of these websites are not even encrypted. Identity theft is at an all-time high. Every three seconds in American identity is being stolen as we speak. So it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's a matter of when. Okay. So what we do is we partner with LifeLock, which is the premier in identity theft protection, and we include that in our services. So not only do we help our clients restore their credit, but we also protect them on the other end with LifeLock to make sure that when your credit score does get better or it comes into the six, mid sixes and 700 range, you're more susceptible to identity theft. So we want to make sure we protect your credit rating at that point. When your credit is poor, nobody wants to steal your credit. <laughs> but when your credit is, is, is high, you're in a better position, you know, you're more successful to people wanting to steal your identity. So we protect you in that way. So it's kind of like a one-two punch type of thing. So. so there you have it. Look, if you want to get a hold of my good friend here, Ismael, <laughs> all you got to do is reach out to him. How can people find you online? Listen, you guys can reach out to me. Simple. Our office number is 305-482-1044. You can reach me on Instagram at the Credit Wizard. Um, you can contact me on Facebook. I'm live there all the time. Or you can just uh, hit up uh, Melvin Otero, right? Ismael Otero. It's all Spanish. There you know how we do it, right? But yeah, you can reach out to me and uh, I'll, I'll be more than happy to be able to help anyone, individuals, families, whatever your struggle is. doesn't matter what your financial situation is or your credit situation. We can definitely help you out. Awesome. So there you go. Let them know I sent you, Mr. Melvin Otero, MD Otero, Executive Director for the Hispanic Chamber of E-Commerce, CEO of Otero Insurance and Future Lion Guard Financial Group, which has got to be huge. So stay tuned. We got more news for you guys coming up soon, and I appreciate it, man. Yep. Got it.